Becoming a mom is often portrayed as a magical moment, life-changing. But the truth is, not all women feel joyful after giving birth. Often confused with baby blues, postpartum depression is a very common medical complication of childbirth, and if left untreated, can have devastating consequences not only for the mother, but it can also impact her family and hinder her infant's physical, mental, and emotional development. Dr. Teresa Baker joins us today from the Infant Risk Center at Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center. She, she's here today because it's Mental Health Month. And this is certainly a critical component of a woman's mental health. Yes, it is. Being a new mother is one of the most vulnerable times of a woman's life. And it's a time that we often see um, previous issues become exacerbated. So if she's ever had a history of, of depression, even um, in high school or, you know, younger years, this is a time mm -hmm. that we can really see it um, become an issue because she's fatigued mm -hmm. and there's so much psychosocial stress that's mm -hmm. associated with new motherhood it's a very trying time for a young woman so what are some signs that you that maybe friends maybe right. husbands can look out for so that's the issue sometimes the mom is the last one to recognize mm -hmm. it because she's just um, you know up every two hours all the way through the night trying to nurse the infant and trying to get through a day and um, most of the times we have a conversation with the dad or the support mm -hmm. s system and and say, you know, watch for things like sh real flat affect or not engaging with the baby. You're not finding joy with any part of it. The tears are normal. Sure, I mean, that's okay. That's part of it. So that's helpful to know. Yeah, tear. I mean, in the beginning, there's lots of emotions. Your hormones are all over the place. There's lots of emotions. Crying isn't doesn't really bother me. It's when they really start to um, pull back okay. and, and become um, real flat. That's when we really get worried. And this is one of the biggest issues with we have a rising maternal mortality um, in Texas and the number three cause is suicide. I mean that is shocking right it's, and it's, it's heartbreaking scary. too. Yes and there's still a big stigma I mean women will come see me and they know they're depressed they know they're struggling but they're afraid to take the medicine they don't want to admit it they want to push through and that's okay not all of them need medication mm -hmm. there's lots of good things like cognitive behavioral mm -hmm. therapy, exercise, sunlight. There's good good research that says all of those things help, but we've got to engage. We've got to get we've got to get something moving. So how long do symptoms of postpartum sort of last? Is I mean, it can last oh, a long if, time, if right? If untreated, it can last years. Really? And all the evidence says that those babies that are um, exposed to mothers with untreated depression do much worse in motor cognitive developmental studies down the road. So it's always better to have a healthy mom, even if that means medication. And most of the medications are safe, even if you're nursing. Okay, so I think the other thing to remember is it's much more common than we perhaps yeah. previously thought or even think now. Oh, of course. Um, the studies all say 15% mm -hmm. is the amount of women that will really suffer, but I agree with you. It's a, it's a much bigger than number than that. It's just that a lot of women are unwilling to call it postpartum mm -hmm. depression. They're just going to um, they're just going to push through and yeah. act like they've got this under control. And sometimes social media is hard on young moms. Sure. You know, you're seeing the perfect nursery and the perfect mm -hmm. home, and your home doesn't look like that, and it's, it can be kind of difficult. You said it sort of shows itself pretty dramatically in professional women who might have their lives I do sort think, of on track. I do think sometimes it's harder on women that have worked outside of the home mm -hmm. and had very structured lives mm -hmm. to all of a sudden be at home with an infant and have very little control over anything and then fatigue and then if there's any um, stress in the relationship. I mean, you can see, it's pretty easy yeah, to see where sure. she can struggle emotionally. Well, if they have, if a woman out there is watching this, thinks that this might be a problem for her or someone she knows, they can call the Infant Risk Center, right? Oh, yes. And they often call about the medications, but there's lots of mm -hmm. things that we can do in addition. And in fact, most of the studies say medica medication alone will not do it. So we, we just talk them through all the options and try to support them in the best way we can and just encourage her to get any help that's available. I just think this is such an important topic, and I'm so glad that you decided to talk about it today. Thank so you. Thank you for sharing. All right, stick around, everybody. We're going to have news and weather headlines after this short break.